Electricity is a hot topic at the moment with debate over coal-fired generators and the proposed emissions trading scheme. A Melbourne company has been quietly developing a cleaner and greener electricity generation system that Australians will be able to install in their own homes from next year. BlueGen is an appliance that takes natural gas from the grid, converts that natural gas into electricity at a very high efficiency in your home. Also has a byproduct of hot water, so we'll also produce enough hot water for the average four to five person family home. But over the course of a year, the BlueGen can produce over 17,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. The average household here in Melbourne uh, has a demand of about six to 7,000 kilowatt hours a year, so you would be able as a householder to sell that electricity back to the grid. Ceramic Fuel Cells Limited started on the back of CSIRO research 17 years ago. Since then, the company has powered through $250 million developing its solid oxide fuel cell technology. What makes the technology really interesting is that we can convert those fuels into electricity at the highest electrical efficiency possible known to man. So the efficiency is still at 60 percent? Yep, it's been that way for a thousand hours now. Comparing that to say the grid here in Victoria, electrical efficiency delivered to your house is about 20 percent. Ceramic fuel cells listed on the Australian Stock Exchange in 2004 and the London Stock Exchange alternative investment market in 2006. It's also conducted a couple of small capital raisings, which will see the company through until it starts making a profit. Well, the company expects to be cash flow positive within about 18 months of today. That's driven by a number of factors. Uh, the early adoption of our blue gen technology here in Australia and other markets. Um, the continued rollout of fully integrated combined heat and power systems with our existing partners, uh, those being uh, large utilities and appliance companies uh, within Europe and also our entry into other markets like, uh, like Japan and, and North America uh, during the course of next year. Europe is a big part of the company's plans. Last month, ceramic fuel cells opened a factory in Germany where it will produce the solid oxide fuel cell stacks that go into its Blue Gen appliance. British and German governments support the technology and Germany offers cash incentives to people who install the units. But closer to home, the machinations have been more difficult. <laughs> The main barriers uh, in Australia are really the engagement with, uh, with utilities here, their ability or their willingness to, uh, to pay for the electricity that householders are going to produce. Um, one of the other barriers, of course, is the fact that the, the technology doesn't qualify uh, as part of the renewable energy certificate schemes. The unit does reduce greenhouse gases uh, more than putting in a similar size solar PV system. Now, that's counterintuitive. Um, a system that's using natural gas, so a non-renewable fuel which is able to reduce greenhouse gases more than a, a renewable technology such as solar PV. But we think there's an opportunity for the government to make an adjustment to the legislation that allows us on, say, pro rata basis uh, to be eligible for renewable energy certificates. We're persisting with the Australian market because we're Australian. I guess we're being parochial, uh, we're a proud Australian company and we'd like to see this Australian technology succeed here in our home market. Uh, but ultimately, if we can't succeed because there are a number of barriers that are, that are in our way, then uh, we'll do as we're currently doing, which is take the technology to the rest of the world.